Hi there, Siti here from Siti Nereti Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how I came up with the bright red orange color for these tomatoes. After I completed the tomato on the left and started working on the tomato in the center, I decided to record a video of coloring instead of just writing down the list of colors I used for this tomato. Recording it is a much better way to remind me of the colors that I used for the tomato on the left. So right now it's a bit blurry because I worked fast layering the surface with the first color. But bear with me because it will become clearer as the video progresses. So I started with golden rod as a base color for the tomato. I'm not going to cover how I colored the entire tomato in this video. I'm just going to show you a small part of the tomato that I worked on. You may notice that I've already marked the center of the tomato with white, light pink, and a touch of bright red. I do this to anchor down the highlights of the tomato. I must say that I love the colors of these tomatoes. They contrast well with each other. That's what drew me to paint these tomatoes. After I layered the tomato with the first color, I used bright red for the second layer. At this stage, I don't go for details as I'm still developing the colors for my subject. I layered the second layer right on top of the first layer. The beauty of the pastel medium is that you can start with a dark color and layer a light color on top of it. However, I used the same method that I used with colored pencil, which is to start with a light color and gradually work my way to the medium and dark values. You can see that I covered the first surface with red, covering the entire surface. Next, I used purple to create a shadow on the area of the tomato where the green stem was pointing out on the right side. Using the edge of the pastel, I carefully worked on the edge of the stem and blended out the other area of the tomato. A side note here, I didn't use any pressure when layering purple on this darker value area. Now I changed to a darker red and blended the colors that I layered on earlier, starting from the shadow area. To blend, I used the flat side of the pastel and worked on the area lightly to get smooth coverage. To tackle a hard edge like this, simply turn your pastel stick and smooth the surface carefully without smearing the stem. Now you should be able to see that the color closely matches with the color of the tomato on the left. Once I had established the color of the tomato, I wanted to bring the viewer's attention to the highlight. I corrected the shape of the highlight using the same pink I used before. I also used white to brighten up the highlight. And I used my pinky to lightly blend the pink into the red-orange color. This is still the rough stage, so there are no details yet on the subject. I also used bright orange to brighten up some part of the red area and to give it some punch. So this is basically how I came up with a bright rich red color of the tomato. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Are you interested in being the first to know when one of my new paintings is available for sale? If so, be sure to go to citynerectistudio.com and subscribe. Stay creative and thanks so much for watching City Nereti Studio.